Hi, this is Rajesh from Technora.in and welcome to another edition of the Technora Coffee Minute. In this episode, I'm going to present to you the epic TCM801A double boiler fully automatic espresso machine from Technora. I'm going to show you what's included in the box and also take you through a demonstration. So first let's see what you get in the box when you buy this machine. Uh, you of course get the main unit. Uh, you have a detachable water tank which is about 1.5 liters in capacity so that's a lot of espressos. You have a removable or a detachable drip tray, a steel cover to go with it, you have the water filter and you have two water filter baskets. One is a single shot basket, one is a double shot basket. So one for single espressos, one for double espressos. And you have a coffee measuring spoon and tamper rolled into one. You also get an instruction manual and a warranty card along with that. That's in the box, but I'm not going to show it to you here. Uh, now let's talk about the mains panel. The mains panel of the machine is uh, basically got three buttons only. So you have the mains power on and off. You have a button for a single cup and a button for the second cup. There are no buttons here for the steam generation because this is a double boiler system. And uh, because of the two boilers, there is one boiler which is dedicated for the brew temperature, one which is dedicated for the steam temperature. So you have steam ready in the machine at all times. There is no need to switch between one's, one brew zone to another. More of this explanation is given in, in another video because it's a little lengthy one. Uh, in where we have compared it with other fully automatic machines which have a single boiler. The, the, the uh, link description is given below. I highly, highly recommend you watch it. You will understand what's the, um, the, the advantage of having a double boiler fully automatic machine versus one that doesn't have a double boiler. And um, it makes, it, it'll, it'll, it'll help you make some uh, good decisions when you want to go and buy uh, yourself a, an espresso machine. So uh, what we're going to do now is first we will uh, uh, make some coffee, we'll make some espresso. I suggest we make a double shot of espresso first and then I will show you how to froth milk in this machine um, as, as, as soon as we've done with the espresso. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. First, we need to slide the water tank into the machine right behind here. Give it a nice gentle nudge, nice tap and make sure it's secured in place. We then next put the drip tray, put in the cover and here we have the porter filter. Let's say we want to make a double shot of espresso so I'm going to choose yes this is the two cup filter. Let me put this aside and now let's put in two spoons of coffee powder. So the point is that we need to make sure that we have put in enough coffee powder till the top or till the brim of the porter filter basket. We don't want to overfill it. We don't want any extra coffee to be, let's say, nudging out of the porter filter. It should be as level as we can. Give it a nice stamp just to compact the coffee powder. And now we're ready to load it onto the brew head. Right. So we have this in place. Now let's fill some water into the water tank. I'm filling it, let's say up to halfway mark. There we go. And now let's turn the power on. We're gonna wait for the boiler to reach the brew temperature. As you can see, the lights are flashing, or what is one light is flashing, which means that the coils are fired up and they're heating the water in the boiler. Once this uh, light stops flashing, that means it's ready for the, for, the, for the brewing function. Uh, it's gonna take maybe three to four minutes maximum and uh, it should be ready. Right, so the main power button has stopped flashing which means that uh, the brew temperature has been achieved and we're ready to make uh, our espresso. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two espresso cups next to each other under the spout. So each spout is going to have a cup underneath it. That's because I'm going to have two shots of espresso at one time. Now, if I were to make a single shot of espresso, I would obviously use the single shot basket and I would just place probably the, the cup 
in the center so that the coffee from both the spouts fall into the cup directly. Now because I'm, I'm using a, a, a double shot and I'm going to remove two shots, I just place them side by side. I think this is ready. So let's press the two cup button. Mm -hmm. So here we are, the two cups are ready and this was your first espresso. Great. Now let's let's go ahead and make uh, or froth some milk. Uh, I'll show you how to froth some milk straight away. What I'm going to do is place an empty cup below the steam spout and slowly open the steam knob to let the steam flow out. Now it's important first to put an empty cup there or something empty there so that the, the initial spurt of hot water falls into this cup. So what happens is that the steam has generated into the, into the steam boiler and uh, there's a, a, a little bit of the steam has already condensed. So the first time when you open the steam knob, you're going to get a gush of water, maybe a few drops and then the uh, a, a steady gush of steam so let's let's see how this goes <coughs> 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 all right we're okay <coughs> just a few drops not much but it, there could be times when you have a, a gush of water happening but this time it didn't so let's let's froth some milk now so i've taken a cup and i'm going to place it just below the surface the spout just below the surface of the milk, gently open the steam knob and let the steam come out. All right, so as you can see, I'm getting plenty of froth. Now before this becomes a bit too much, I'm going to stop it so that it's easy for me to remove the cup, we're done, there you are. So that's lots of froth as you can see. We had the milk somewhere in the level just somewhere here and it's got a huge volume of froth. That's because of the strong double boiler that we have. The second boiler which is dedicated to steam does generate a lot of steam. One more important thing I'd like to mention here is that after you've done with frothing, always, always clean up the spout with a damp cloth or a damp tissue and pull this off, pull the pan roller off and clean this spout as well. So you, what you do is any remnants of milk, you clean it up completely and the best thing would be then to release some steam and clean up the insides before you shut the machine. <coughs> Right. So this procedure is called purging and uh, it's very very important that you follow this procedure every time that you froth milk. This is to avoid any remnants of milk sticking to the spout or any, any of the milk that, it, that enters into the spout because there's a sudden vacuum created. So you take all the milk off so that you never have any issues of any milk remaining there and no bacterial issues also. So purging is extremely important. Please do it every time. So uh, this, this was the demo for the Epic. Um, we have removed an espresso. We have also done some milk frothing. I, I hope uh, you have understood the main functions of the Epic. Uh, however, if you need any more information, there's lots of information on our website. Also, there are lots of videos on Technora TV, our channel. Please go there and, and, and uh, look around if there is any other information that you need. Also follow the links that I've already mentioned in the video below in the, descri in the description box. It's going to help you a lot to make the right decisions. Uh, any questions, please free feel free to write to us. Any comments, please free feel free to comment. And uh, I'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.